The circulatory system, which pumps blood around the body via the heart and the lungs, also has another method of transporting fluid around the body via the lymphatic system. However, there are no red corpuscles or red blood cells present in the lymphatic system. Instead, it contains different types of white blood cells, including the appropriately named lymphocytes, which are used in combating disease and infection. A liquid that forms majority of the material carried in the lymphatic system is called lymph. It's a clear liquid in which other substances are suspended. In some ways, the lymphatic system acts like a storm drain, collecting and disposing of surplus harmful material that is flooded the rest of the system. As blood vessels pass around the body, some of the liquid and other substances leak out of the blood vessels and bathe the surrounding cells in intestinal fluid. Most of this leaking comes out of the arteries and flows back into the veins. However, not all of it is collected by the veins, the rest is picked up by the lymphatic system. As well as collecting excess liquid, the lymphatic system also picks up waste products from cells and bacteria and some surplus proteins. The bacteria are generally deposited in lymph nodes or lumps formed from a small network of lymph vessels where a concentration of white blood cells attack the bacteria and kill them off. The proteins and fluids are returned to the blood vessels via capillaries which have valves in them to prevent the flow going back the other way. Without the lymph system operating efficiently, the body would build up fluid in places like the ankles and the feet, causing them to swell up. The spleen and the thymus are the two organs which are related directly to the lymph system. Now, the thymus is where white cells mature, so if you damage it, it can severely affect the immune system. The spleen removes old red blood cells from the circulation, also stores a reserve of blood in case of dire need. Along with this, it creates the antibodies needed in combating disease and infection. So that's the circulatory system's lymphatic system as part of it.